Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I bring you another video, not a Halo video, but definitely something similar to Halo. So I'm sure you've guys heard of Splitgate, and if you haven't, it's basically like Halo except with portals. Um, you could tell that it's heavily inspired by Halo. And if you don't believe me, I mean, you could just look here, as you can see, they got the battle rifle, assault rifle, the carbine, you know, it actually has its own name, but it's essentially a DMR. A lot of the weapons are inspired from Halo. I mean, you got the plasma rifle. If you're a Halo fan, I think this game is really worth trying out. Not only that, but it's free, so I believe this game is supported by only like four devs. I remember playing this game during the alpha stages on my really bad laptop. It was like a terrible laptop, but I was still able to run it. Um, yeah, this game has changed a lot. I even made some videos. You could probably search them up. Really old videos back then on the alpha stages, I believe. And so it's really cool just seeing this game return and finally come to console, which is something I've actually been waiting for for such a long time. I think this game will definitely hold me over until Infinite um, because I've been getting really bored of just playing the usual, you know, Halo 3, you know, all the old Halos because, you know, we've been playing those for like decades, I would say at this point. So this is kind of like a refresher for that and it's a really fun game in itself. I also went ahead and bought myself a cool skin that kind of resembles or at least kind of looks like a... A soldier from uh, Halo at least in my opinion so that's really mainly the reason I bought it as well as because you know I do want to support the devs because I think they're doing a great job and it's a good game and it's crazy how they got all this like they have a lot to work on and they got a really small team that's why the servers if you've noticed they get like overloaded and stuff it's crazy but yeah they deserve this success enough of me rambling though let's go ahead and actually get to the gameplay so today i'm gonna be playing some ranked maybe we'll check out ranked tank takedown when it comes out for now let's go ahead and just take on the main mode which is basically just ranked 4v4 and the reason i want to do ranked is because you kind of get the full experience here you know you actually go up go up against like real players who you know actually know how to play the game and stuff and i'm still learning i think my shots are okay but my portal using the portal stuff is like i'm still learning that kind of stuff it's very confusing for me all right so we got into a lobby let's see what maps we got here we got impact or impact yeah impact that's how you say it oasis i don't like that map oh no oh thank god okay we got club silo this is a pretty good map so a lot of the maps as well you can tell are halo inspired there's like, I think this map called Pathian, I think it's called Pathian, and it's basically like Sanctuary from Halo 2, I believe it's called. And then they also have this map, which is the one we're playing on, which looks a lot like Swordbase, or not looks, but reminds me a lot about Swordbase, and you'll see what I mean. But right now, let's go ahead and capture this hill. Um, shoot, did they get the rocket launcher? Yeah, they got the rocket launcher. That's not good. All right, let me go make our way to this guy. If my aim was any better. There we go. Let's get freaking B. Ooh, battle rifle. Let's get that. Ooh, SMG, man. This guy was loaded up. Let's get the SMG. We'll look at C. But, um, yeah, this game is really fun. I highly recommend it. Whether you're, like, coming from Halo or not, I think it's worth a try. I mean, it is free, after all. Go up here. But, um, yeah, you know, it kind of gives me sword, sword base vibes from Halo Reach. Oh, shoot, I almost died. Because, as you can see, there's kind of, like, these cool, like... Oh, let's go ahead and get B. There's, like, catwalks and stuff. And so it kind of reminds me of it. Maybe it doesn't for you, but in my opinion, it kind of does look like it. But there certainly is, you know, a good amount of maps that definitely do look like Halo maps. So you can see all these catwalks and stuff. It's really cool. Ooh, okay, that guy was almost dead. Good thing I finished him off. Oh god, we gotta capture something here. But yeah, I'm like Diamond 3040 or something like that. I'm like Diamond... I'm like Diamond 3000, like 40 or something. I don't know, the ranking system is kind of weird how it works. But, um... I'm a very low Diamond. I'm, I barely qualify as a Diamond. I'm honestly surprised I even got close to that. Because, in my opinion, I think Diamond's actually kind of good. Because it goes from Bronze all the way to, I think, Champion. So it goes Bronze, I think... Yeah, bronze, silver, and then 
what's after that gold yeah gold platinum diamond master and champion so i'm kind of like a little up there i think the only thing i really need to work on is of course i could always improve on my accuracy but mostly in my opinion i think it's the like how to use your portals and stuff i struggle a lot with that because you know it's something i've never experienced before which is really cool kind of makes this game unique in its own way even if it you know kind of does feel like a halo ripoff in a sense although i don't really like calling it that because i feel like it's different enough to where um you know it doesn't feel like a halo ripoff sure it is like heavily inspired like i said but it does certainly feel like its own game okay so this is a really close game Okay, we need to try to, like, maintain some of these, uh, points here. We gotta try to keep them from getting captured. Ah, oh, shoot. Freaking guy was shooting me from up top. I didn't see him. I also feel like this game is definitely more of a mouse and keyboard kind of game. I think controllers, controller, controller players are at a disadvantage. Um, the aim assist as well, I, I, some people say it's strong, but in my opinion, it feels, it feels pretty weak. I mean, it could just be me, I don't know. In my opinion, it feels pretty weak. I think this game's pretty balanced in terms of, like, the inputs. Wow, this is a very close game. No! Oh my god, dude, I had such a perfect shot to take out the guy in the middle. Freaking guy came from like, I don't know, came from the other side, something, I don't freaking know. It's, it's just something I struggle with. It, it kind of, I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It is kind of hard to adapt to that because, you know, when you're playing a game like Halo, you're kind of like, you don't expect people to just kind of get away like that. Um, so it's, it's like something I kind of just have to like drill into my head and not forget. Because there's times where, like, you know, I'm about to kill a guy, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna kill this guy, you know, he's super weak, there's no way he's gonna turn it around. And then all of a sudden, this guy, like, you know, he kind of just... What the hell just... <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, I was just trying to survive. But, like, you know, he's all of a sudden just kind of, like, teleports across the map, and I'm like, what the hell? And he, like, shoots me across from across the map to kill me and kind of, like, reverse it. And so, like, that kind of, those kind of plays are, like, you know, it's just something that happens in this game. And it's kind of hard for me to, you know, kind of just drill into my head. Um, you know, coming from Halo, you kind of, like, kind of used to, like, just, um, you don't expect that, you know. I guess you could say that for any game, really. I mean, from any game, you don't really expect that kind of stuff. If we, if we kept those two points, I think we probably could have came back, but I think it's too late now. That's unfortunate. That really sucks. I don't know. We'll see how I did. See how many kills and stuff I did. Or got, rather. Alright, let's see how I did. So my pistol accuracy was some of the best. Kills were just average. Damage was pretty bad, too. Okay, yeah. No, maybe I did do pretty bad. And, okay, well, at least I'm not plat. <laughs> at least I'm still in diamond, even if it's, like, super low. Let me go ahead and exit real quick. And hopefully we can kind of look at the stats while I go to the menu, because it just searches games on its own after a while, which I don't really like. Um, hopefully you can look at the stats. I don't think you can. I think that's one of the things that kind of sucks. You can't look at the recent stats. Or maybe you can. Let's go here. No, you can't. It seems like that's very weird. Unless maybe I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, looks like you can't look at the stats unless you're in-game. I don't like that. Yeah, you can't look at the stats. I don't like that. I'm so, What? No, I have to be something doing something wrong. Wait, I don't want to queue. Wow, so you can only look at your stats when you're in-game. You can't even, like, see your post-game kind of thing. And I don't like that because, like, when I'm looking at my, I just want to look at my stats, but then it just cues you for another game right away. 
Um, and I'm just like, you know, I'm not trying to play another game. I'm just trying to look at my stats. So that's unfortunate. We can't even look at, like, how I did. See if I did, went negative or anything. So hopefully they, like... I don't know. Hopefully maybe that becomes something in the future. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Consider subscribing, liking the video. Peace. Thank you.